Good afternoon everyone, it is The Wanderer and today I am outside London Stadium, the home of the London 2012 Olympic Games, which if I've done my maths correctly, I cannot believe was over 10 years ago. Honestly guys, I'll tell you the truth, I wanted to go to London 2012 so much I applied to be part of the opening ceremony, uh, but unfortunately nothing happened. I did book off two weeks of work though just to sit in front of the TV and watch some absolute sporting magic. This video is not about sport, however, we are still in London from earlier. We did do a vlog earlier, me and Harry, at the worst rated cafe in London. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link in the description. You may be surprised. But there wasn't a lot on the plate, and we are still slightly hungry, so we want to go and eat somewhere else. Uh, we are near Westfield. Now, I'm not sure where we're going to eat yet. We're going to have a look around Westfield, see what takes our fancy, and show you guys if they're any good or any bad. We will let you know. Anyway, guys, if you do like this kind of stuff, don't forget, of course, to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload content. I'm The Wanderer, and here we go. No idea where we're going, but let's make a move. Alright and guys, so after having a little wander around, we've decided that we're going to go here at the Bat and Ball. Um, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Uh, we've both got our eyes on burgers. Uh, Harry's going to be going for the Smash Burger, which is the classic double beef smash patties, double dirty cheese, onions, gherkins and the secret sauce. I'm going to go for the Chicken Ramen Burger because that just sounds different, doesn't it? Chicken Ramen Burger, that is crispy fried chicken breast, lettuce, tomato with uh, siat, sriracha, 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 yeah. sriracha, ketchup and garlic uh, as well so that's going to be fun it's a ratchet off it's a ratchet off he tells me that now <laughs> brilliant they do a well it's not so much as a challenge guys but we might have to come back here in the future as well because they've also got wing roulette uh, so as you can see here 15 wings three different levels of spice take on the challenge um, we were thinking of doing a food challenge today but as we've already done the the palace cafe yeah. I fancy just a nice burger, keep it simple, looks nice, I've spoken for too much, let's get in there. Alright then everyone, so the food has been ordered and I have to say the service here is absolutely top notch. I was actually just about to go downstairs, go to the bar and order and the young lady, she saw me coming down, she said, no, no, stay there, I'll come to you. So she did, uh, so we got ourselves a smash burger, chicken ramen burger, I'm going for a Heineken silver and Harry's going for a large diet coke. 
Really like the vibe in here, as you, you saw on the on the welcome of the drinks menu. You've got the full-size ping-pong tables, you've got darts, you've got karaoke. This place is a perfect party place, especially if you're a sports fan. The downstairs area right now is closed due to a heating problem, but I'm sure by the time you guys come here, the downstairs area will be available. So we've had to move upstairs. We picked this nice little quiet spot for ourselves. But don't be fooled, it is very busy, as you're about to see. Sport, sports out of the corner of every single eye you could look at as well. Big screens, we've got horse racing, we've got American football, we got SSN, and I'm pretty sure the World Cup will be on later on. Anyway, guys, really like it in here. Let's just hope the food is as good as the quality, or uh, as the service, but I'm sure it will be. He said to me earlier he hopes that the Palace Cafe isn't the best thing he reviews today. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But again, that is not a knock on the Palace Cafe. They were, I shouldn't spoil it, they were all right. and everyone so we had a little look around the place and I have to say really really fun anyway guys we got the bill but the food hasn't arrived yet the bill has come to a total of 45 pounds 44 uh, so the subtotal was 40 pounds 50 there is a 12 and a half percent service charge however which does add another four pound 94 onto it uh, they've also got street smart one pound wasn't sure what that was ori originally uh, but they did bring this along with the receipt so essentially Street Smart fundraises for the homeless by adding a voluntary one pound per table to your bill. You can refuse it if you if you say, but we're not going to do that. We we are more than happy to put the pound on the bill. So yeah, it's it's good cause of course. And I would say food wise, uh, I mean obviously we haven't seen the plates yet, but the prices are, I think are about what you'd expect. Yeah, like the prices, it's not too bad. Not bad at all. Almost, Almost. If you don't know, can of Coke, Pepsi Max Coke for me at the Palace Cafe in a can, three pound fifty. Is that normal, guys? Can you tell me London prices? Anyway, my drink of choice today. It's the first beer of the day, Heineken Silver. It's a new one on me, so let's give it a shot. Ooh, it's nice. I have to say though, in in terms of what we've had recently. I think I prefer a Madri. That's not bad. Heineken Silver, probably, probably about better than average uh, regular Heineken. I would say, really good. All right then, guys. So it has arrived. Here is the chicken ramen, chicken burger. And Harry, if you want to show off the smash burger, we're going to give you the close-ups, and then we'll go into how it tastes. We're just waiting some, on some sauces, but have a closer look. Okay then guys, so we're just waiting for our server to bring us up some sauces, but while we're waiting, because there's not too many items here, so let's go straight into it. Let's see how these fries come up here. They look amazing, so there's a look at your fry. Looks pretty good. Harry, you know exactly what I'm going to say with this, but you go first before I say it. Fry scale, guys, remember the fry scale. They look like Mackies. They're better than Mackies. They're better than Mackies. They're great. They're great. Right. Nicely salted as well, I might add. Really nicely salted, actually. Yeah, really good. I think before I go into the burger, I might have to nab one more. Yeah, <laughs> And here we are, guys. This is the main event. This is the chicken ramen burger. And I have to say, it looks nice. It smells nice. It smells really nice. 
let's have a try and get a bite where it's going to be clean for me. Let's see. Here it should be fine. Oh man, the sauce is gorgeous. That sauce is really nice. Yeah. Really, really good. Um, I think we'll we'll get a close up of Harry as he goes into the smash burger. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is the smash burger. Two patties. Looks amazing. Buns, crispy as well. Crispy toasted. buns, slightly toasted. Good, mate. That sauce as well in there. Yeah. I like that. Nice. So as you can see, there isn't much in the way of what we can eat, chips and a burger, but we're just waiting for our sauces, as I say. But we're gonna finish this and give you the review outside. Alright then everyone, so that was the Baton Ball, and I have to say, very positive experience. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yes. Uh, so let's break it down very quickly. My chicken ramen burger, uh, so what is the first thing you think of when you think of it? Now I'm trying to think of easily accessible across the country. Uh, chicken burger that you can compare it to, probably going to be a KFC fillet, right? Yeah, obviously. Uh, KFC fillet chicken, very, very, very good. The chicken that I had in there was absolutely top quality. It was succulent, the outside was crunchy, the sauce they had in there, you said it was hot, but it wasn't it wasn't hot hot, it was, was alright, you know, you did make me a bit worried when you said that. But no, it was really nice, mayonnaise combination, little bit of the rabbit food, but really thoroughly nice. Fries, excellent, um, although I will say when you got to the bottom of them, they did turn from crispy, really, really nice yeah, fries crispy, to yeah. crispy, um, but your smash burger, how did you rate that? So my smash burger, yeah. Two beef patties, which you don't get everywhere. Yep. A slight sourness of the sauce. I think that might be for the gherkins, but maybe there was gherkins in the sauce as well. But I did say there was a in special a nice sauce way. in there. So yeah. yeah. So sour, but nice type of sour. And as you say, the chips. Yeah. Like he tries a bit better until you get to the get to crispy, but that's right. And I will say one thing as well. I did mention that we were waiting for our sauces. The sauces never came, but I will say the girl in there, absolutely lovely. She was for a, quite a long time the only one in there. She was running back and forth like a headless chicken. Yeah, she, she was, was the only one the pool, serving. To do the food, do the drinks, yeah. you know. So bless her. If bless you're her. watching this, no, our service was great, very friendly. She was smiling all the way. She did all that. I wouldn't be able to do it. If I was going from here to here to here to here and then I forget customers, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be having a face like really, really stressed. But no, she was yeah. really good and um, it, it didn't really need the sauces because yeah. what I had in the burgers, that was that was fair enough. Well, I I admitted to you in there. Didn't I was I? just going to bring my, this up. It was in my top three burgers. Only top. beaten by a big tasty, which is served all year round the McDonald's and that amazing Five Guys burger we had the other week. That's it. And that's it. So, so that burger's made it to his top three in terms of chicken burgers. I'd probably say that was one of my favourites. I, I can't I can't think off the top of my head what I've had that's better or worse. But I did thoroughly enjoy it. And I will also say this. I really hope Reading get the play West Ham because 
That's a perfect pre-match pit stop. Yeah, that we is. could see the wing roulette before they play West Ham. We Come could. Like, that would be great. Reading, please get promoted or get them in the cup. That would be lovely. Um, I also have to say as well, on a sports day, World Cup days or whatever, that place is going to be buzzing. Oh, yeah, it must be packed. It's yeah. going to be great. I bet the English game was absolutely manic in there on Saturday night. For about 80 minutes. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that is that. Really enjoyed London, I have to say. Uh, so do be sure to check out the two vlogs that we've done today. That is the Bat and Ball now, the Palace Cafe uh, by Buckingham Palace. That was earlier in the day. We're going to go get a train home so I can edit these and have them out at a decent time. Uh, and that is that. If yeah. you did like this, don't forget, of course, to leave a like, subscribe if you need click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff <laughs> I'm the Wanderer and until next time everyone thank you for joining me bye for now nice. football might not be coming home but we're going home <laughs> heartbreak heartbreak <laughs>as you can see we are stood outside London Stadium the home of London 2012 which I honestly will hello which I scratch that again there was nearly a head-on crash there with a skateboarder and a cyclist fantastic so um, yeah we thought we filmed two videos uh, with with no outtakes today I thought we were doing really well yeah would you guys like to hear a funny story uh, so we obviously don't watch the news that much we completely forgot about the rail strikes all right, well, I partly knew about it, but I thought it was 7 o'clock, so I thought we were all right still. But, uh, so if we arrived at Paddington 10 minutes later, we'd have been a little bit screwed, but um, we managed to get the 10 past 6 Heathrow Express to Terminal 5, 25 quid each. Uh, so we are now on a coach back to Reading at another £23 each. That is £48 to get back to Reading because of the... I don't know if we'd have been 10 minutes earlier and I'd have made it at 6 o'clock, we would have got back to Reading on the train. Yes. Overall, it's been a fun day, but um, this is a story to tell the kids. I haven't got any kids. Anyway.